What's up everyone? How's it going? Today is a very special video. I'm giving away knowledge and my experience. One day I'll give away 10,000, not today. Um, yeah, so I have now been sober for two months and I've smoked weed almost every day for 10 years now, multiple times a day. Have spent probably $100,000 on weed. And I could say that because I've worked those whole 10 years as well. And uh, yeah, weed's a lot of money. A lot of money. The past three years, it's, I've been spending about a thousand I've been spending about a thousand a, a month on weed, possibly even more. So we could say anywhere from eighty to a hundred thousand dollars I have spent in weed in my life. But we're two months sober now, which means we've saved two thousand dollars. So we're we're slowly getting that back. And yeah, I feel great. Quitting weed has been the best thing I've done in a long time. It's made me way more productive, way more motivated, a better person, stronger, I've gained weight. I'm having dreams now, almost, almost every day, and I'm remembering my dreams. I said this in a past video, if you spend a third of your life sleeping, but some people spend more at least I can remember that third of my life and have memories from it so it's almost like my life is a third longer now because I used to get high go to sleep with all this THC in me which stops you from dreaming and definitely doesn't help your memory out so if you do dream you're less likely to remember it but yeah the past two months I've been I can remember a lot of my dreams. I've been able to fly in a handful of them, which is a goal of mine. I wanna be able to not only dream, but control my dreams while I'm in them. And I've had a few dreams I've, I've had complete control over, where I've been able to bring things into the dream just by thinking about it while sleeping. Um, I've dreamt of driving nice cars, car shopping, for nice cars, just things that in my waking hours I remember and it, it brings me closer to those goals. Because my goals are to become filthy rich, not filthy rich, but extremely wealthy, be a good person, have a business, a very successful business, bigger than Jeff Bezos and on par with Tesla's, that would be cool. That not that would be cool, that's the goal. That's what we're doing. And yeah, I've spent 10 years smoking weed. Blunts, fucking, J's, blunts with wax, wax, bongs, vapes. Just, I've been on a cloud for 10 years. Thankfully, I don't really do any hard drugs. I've liked, I've liked more hallucinogenic drugs or psychedelic drugs like shrooms, acid, weed. Um, you know, I've done shrooms a handful of times. Same thing with acid. I've done that maybe 10 times. And yeah, it's not not really it's not good for you shrooms shrooms are cool because generally speaking you do that like once in a while and then it sticks with you so you don't want to do it every day but some people are you know including myself I used to be an addict some people are addicted to these things and they do it way more than they should especially weed weed is so easy to go overboard with where it becomes habitual, it's part of your routine, you have to smoke. 
and that was me. I had to smoke every day, like 10 times a day sometimes. 10 blunts, backwards, burning through 10, 20 bucks every time I smoked. It's brought me to points where I've had no money because I spent it all on weed. I remember spending my last 40 bucks on an eighth. And at that point I was, it was kind of, kind of what I wanted to do. Cause I felt like that would get me to get serious. But no, I, I smoked for another four years after that. But I've been able to save money because I got smarter with just how I was spending my money. I still spent a lot on weed, but I would I would have a lot more money saved. And I like I know if I never smoked weed, well, my whole life would be different if I never smoked weed. Because I got kicked off the wrestling team for getting involved with these kids who smoked, and we ended up doing something stupid. And I got kicked off the team. And I was gonna be, so I was training hard. I was gonna be a first state, first in the state wrestler. Because the year before I was third. And then I busted my ass for a whole year to take first the next year. And I end up getting kicked off the team. It happens. There's this one kid on the team who, he was always a little better than me. And I worked my ass off training three times a day, putting in more work. I know I was putting in more work than he was. And he was in my weight class and he was really, really good. And a week before I got kicked off the team, I beat him for that, for that weight class. We did a wrestle off in front of the coach for that weight. It was me versus him. The whole team was around us watching around the circle. And yeah, I beat him by by a couple points, like four points. I wasn't able to pin him because he's really good. And he also works his ass off. But I beat him, which was, I remember to this day. So I'm very happy I was able to do it. And a lot of my life was stolen from me because I decided to get high every day. And I stopped working out. I stopped eating right hung out with people who, I mean, I, I have good friends, but you just can't, you can't just do what your friends do. You gotta have your own path in life. So yeah, I'm two months sober now. It's been the best decision I've made in a long time. I feel way better. I'm getting things done that I wanna get done. Getting better sleep. The list really is endless. And it's only gonna get better. I'm only two months in and I feel great. The urges aren't even there anymore. Not there. There's still things I'm working on, like quitting nicotine, because I do smoke cigarettes here and there when I'm at work. But I wanna, I'm gonna be able to say no soon, just so I'm able to do exactly what I wanna do. And I don't want any outside interference on that. I always wanna, what I want, you know, what I want on the inside to reflect on the outside. So, today I I uh, tried getting this girl's number. I went outside my comfort zone, tried to get her number. She um, had a boyfriend, so wasn't able to do that. But I'm sure I could've I shouldn't even ask if she had a boyfriend. I don't like to ask that question because I just want to talk to them and try to get their number and if I get it, I get it. Asking like if you have a boyfriend kinda, like first off, it's like puts a limit on you because she could look at it, she could even easily answer yes to that just to get you to stop talking to her. But it's kinda lower confidence, I feel. You just ask, and if you end up with a number, you end up with a number. You know, if she has a boyfriend, she'll tell you, but don't even ask that. Just be smooth with the way you talk, make her laugh, and then see if she wants to hang out. 
that's it. If she's like, oh, I have a boyfriend. Be like, oh, I wasn't trying to make you a girlfriend. I was just trying to hang out. I was just trying to talk to you. You know, it's it's smarter, smarter way to talk. I'm two months sober. I feel great. I've been smoking weed for ten years, ten long, long years, and they weren't. You know, they were good years, but the whole time I knew that wasn't me. I knew I could do better things, and if I wasn't always getting high, I would have achieved those things. Now that I'm so sober, I have ample more time, because I would spend hours a day getting weed, waiting for the weed guy, rolling up, smoking, just driving around, or sitting at a spot with my friends, and then I would aimlessly just, you know, do whatever I was doing, watch videos, go to sleep because I'm tired, just not being productive. Smoking weed is not productive. Anyone out there trying to quit, subscribe to this video, to this channel, like the video, leave a comment, tell me how long it's been since you haven't smoked, or let me know that you're on the same journey, because talking to someone and putting it out there, putting it out to the universe, that you're trying to quit and get better is the first step. And it's it's activates the law of attraction. Some people might say that's bullshit, but however you want to look at it as a spiritual law or just a real physics, like if you want something, you end up gravitating towards that thing. So, and you gotta then take steps to make it reality. So I told a lot of people I was quitting. I told everyone, don't hit me up to smoke. I'm quitting weed. Put it out there. It was always in my mind that I was gonna quit and do better things. And now I'm two months sober, which is the longest I've been sober in a long time. Before that, the longest I was sober was six weeks. And that was almost four years ago now. And um, I only quit because I had to take a drug test, which I did pass for the fire department. I am not a firefighter. I am on the list though, so I might get called. But that is not what I'm doing right now, which is fine. I was also on the sanitation list. I was called for that, but I make more money doing what I do now and I won't be able to make more than I do now until I'm on the sanitation for at least five years. I know there's a lot of benefits with sanitation and everything, but I like, I, I know the path I'm on now is gonna get me farther than being a sanitation worker. And I also don't wanna be around garbage, smelling garbage every day. If you are doing that, that's fine. If you're happy doing it, that's great. Some people could use that being around garbage as a reason to do something better, which I would do if I became one, because I'm good with saving money and investing money and making moves to make more money. And I'm only getting better at that. I'm making more money doing my own work, selling things, just being smart and seeing opportunity and taking that opportunity when it comes. And this is, this is largely because I quit smoking weed. The last two months have been greatly, greatly more productive. So anyone trying to quit weed, you can do it. Quit it today. Because quitting something today sets you way more, way in emotion than saying, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. The amount of times I said, I'm gonna quit weed tomorrow is almost, almost sickening. But we are, we are now sober. We're doing great. I feel better. My eyes are more clear. I finally have this YouTube channel going, which I've been wanting to stop for start for a long time. And yeah, guys, you can do it too. All right, we're two months sober after 10 years of being an addict. Being an addict, because I was feeling that. And if I didn't have it, I was mad. I would fight with people get irritated quick and that's not what I want I want my emotions to be completely under control all right guys 
thank you for watching have a great day let's get healthy let's make money let's do it peace